I was always for uh, transparency in some formations of the council. So for instance, when the council legislates, it would be good to have open debates. It would be a little bit more interesting. And now they're done very mechanically, and I think, to be quite honest, they're very boring. Uh, they don't, are not done very well. Now, European Council in the public, I'll be very frank with you, I don't think it would work. Uh, you know, it, it's a very intimate club. Huh? Prime Ministers and Presidents, you know, I, I, I say, we, we you know, sort of understand each other. It's almost as if you go into a big psychotherapy session where a lot of these prime ministers come from home and all the pressures that they have, and then they get into this room, 28 of them, plus the commission president and the president of the European Council, and they almost hug each other. Nice to see you. Now we can be ourselves for a little while and discuss European problems. If it became a show where you sit in the European Council, you know, the highest decision makers, I, I, I just, I'm afraid it, it just wouldn't work. We have to be realistic about this. So in that sense, I guess I would say that transparency has its limits as well.